Welcome back, everyone, to the Fire Rises mod for Hearts of Iron 4. Of course, as you know by now, I'm your host, Mr. Mokalever, but the EADI victory in the Great Asian War. Few regions on Earth, like the Asia-Pacific, have been so persistently close to the brink of conflict since the end of World War II. The area has been pro seeing prolonged border clashes in South Asia, intermittent guerrilla warfare in Indochina, and tense military standoffs across the 38th parallel and the Taiwan Strait. Each confrontation has seemed just a spark away from igniting full-scale war. Now, however, it seems that the long-standing of the Great Asian War may finally be easing. The East Asian Defense Initiative, compromising countries such as China, North Korea, and Pakistan, have emerged as the ultimate victor in this prolonged war. The significant sacrifices made by this alliance, resisting imperialist hegemony, have established them as the champions of justice for half of the world's population. And as for the losers of so-called PDTO, they face the prospect of being thoroughly stripped of their democracy, facade, and facing the people's retribution. Peace alone is priceless. Look at this. When people are united, they put aside petty differences as they fight for a shared greater cause. When plans make sense to them, they will support them. When they realize that the leader cares about them, they will fight for the leader and the leader's ideals. Wu Qi, the East is red. So how great. So we got the Korean SAR, People's Republic of Japan, led by Naruhito. Trotskyism, huh? Of course, these guys have fallen red too. Tolam. Um, Commonwealth of Australia is, well, their Democratic Socialist, Ben Robert Smith. It's a very, very red world. Australia has fallen, of course, and India has been shattered. So, Neo Libs, Indian Civil War, basically. Uh, Madhya Pradesh clique. This is one willing ally. Southern Indian clique. Akhand Bharat. This is one. Southern Indian clique, of course. Garvidu Nadu. Salwa. Uh, Salwa Judum, People's Republic of Bangladesh, People's Liberation Guerrilla Army, so. And Pakistan's looking pretty nice and thick. So the world's definitely turned uh, a certain way. Uh, currently, though, what we're doing, is, at this point, I mean, we're kind of screwed. We're going to follow Iraq, which is a 70 day focus, unfortunately. Um, so we'll be at war with the Republic of Poland at first. Defeating them will put us at war with the Soviet Union. Uh, we go to war with both the Czech, Repo uh, Czech Republic as well as the Republic of Poland and lock new focuses. Diplomatic actions will be unlocked, just by war goals, just guarantee independence of the faction. Um, and we have some soldiers returning home, which is great. Uh, huh. Maybe this. You were some of our strongest soldiers here. Um, so the goal is to flood into Poland as fast as possible. We're definitely going to die here. Um, so if we have to, we might use cons commands. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm really thinking might might play as the Soviet Union or Russia uh, in the next campaign. We'll see. As finally, we're starting to build, 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 build. Wow. Negative 110 percent because of inflation. Wait, inflation? Oh, so I guess you need inflation then, huh? Because we're at negative 64 percent. We have deflation basically. That is destroying our construction speed. Well, we're going back. You know, this, like I said, this is a test run to see what we can do. Um, that is interesting. So if we have negative inflation, or deflation, I assume it would be called, that would be uh, really bad for you. We tried, y'all. We tried so hard. I was wondering why it took forever to build anything here. Just a negative 100%, you know, that's all. Just can't win. Of course, we'll call our allies in. We sh I hope we can smash through these lines. I and mean, we tried it. You know, trying to make more factories, but as you can see, it takes forever to do anything here. Try to make more divisions. We don't have nearly enough of anything. So, Pelt, we're going to need more of that. Uh, I'm going to 1, maybe. Um, we want more fighters. You know, we want more everything, but we just can't produce enough. Back to seal forces across the order. The day the world woke up to another war. At 4 a.m., forces of the Pact of Steel. An alliance that was formed by the uh, new nationalist government of Europe after the collapse of NATO have started a simultaneous invasion of the Czech Republic and Poland, breaking the current status quo of the border with the Soviet bloc. Although the Pact of Steel is yet to engage directly with the Soviet troops, no doubt it's just a matter of time. Plenty of hatred and revanchism is built up within Europe and now it's ready to move like a tidal wave across the east and sweep everything all the way up to the Euros. A similar spirit lives in the Soviet soldiers, except of course, they would only stop after they reach the shores of the Atlantic Ocean. The fate of Europe has been at stake many times in many conflicts. This time, the sides are determined to decide it once and for all. The world will never be the same again. We bear a heavy, ha heavy and therefore great destiny. The final showdown. Unto nemen hus. Not in a defensive posture. Uh, propagandizer success. Unto nemen Michael. 
Well, we're going here first, so we might as well do that one. Let's see what we can do. Combat AI functionality allowing to write. Only allowing to read. Combat AI. I guess allowing to write? I, I, I don't know. Oh, this is dangerous technology. Oh. Self-learning combat AI. Uh-oh. I, I, I didn't even read what this was. I was just clicking on stuff. Air assault. Eh, you can have that too, I guess. Why not? Seems like for the most part we're doing pretty well against these guys, but you know what to expect. Good. Get rid of them as fast as you possibly can. What are our losses like? 230 versus 21,000. Good. Are, are we using chemical weapons? It looks like we're using chemical weapons here. Terrorist attack in Eastern Europe. Lord help the people. Uh, I don't think. Well, we might unlock chemical weapons. Do we use any chemical weapons here? Look, I'm not against it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not against it. But still, that's 2031. Uh, armored freight trains. Sure. Good job, guys. You've done us proud. Initiation of Farak. How did that? The time for preparations is over. We will strike the Red Hordes with brutality and swiftness they can never imagine. We'll show them what it means to fear, and we'll make sure that ours cannon is ours to keep. Oh crap, we're at war with them. Our forefathers failed once. Uh, we cannot deny it, yet it was their unwillingness to cooperate with other European patriots that led to their downfall. We will not repeat the same mistake. As much as we hate the previous elites, there was a quote that we subscribe to. Europe is a garden. The rest of the world is a jungle. The jungle could invade the garden. The gardeners should take care of it. A simple phrase, yet so meaningful. And they were right. Europe is a garden, a continent of tradition and culture that the world envies. And we are the gardeners that will operate the jungle that threatens this beauty. Time to get to work. Fios Vatolan. Alright, so that's not good. You are one giant front line. Not ideal. I guess we're gassing him. We really are German, aren't we? Activate our nuclear arsenal. Well, we're not nuclearized, I guess. Power plant. Nuclear reactor. Fio Silo. Office park. I don't think there's be any real point to... I mean, we could try it, I guess, but still. So, do you have any debuffs since we did this? Unstable government, which is good. You guys are what? You're strong. You're very strong. And Lushenko, Lukashenko has won. Isn't he the guy from, like, Belarus? Open doors to BDTO. Well, they're dead. Association of Democratic States. A division defense. They're pretty strong in defense and whatnot. Um, so. Invincible Legendary. We'll see about that. And they're, they're going to be very strong. Division organization is very strong. Um, they got even more defense. Not cool. So, we'll see how they do and react. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to win here. You definitely want to call in all of our allies. I mean, don't get me wrong, we're not bad on the offense, because we actually have quite a few things. Academic downturn for some stupid reason. Turn a blind eye to arm extremism. Got the demo room is not good. Zero inflation policy. Uh, bills are okay. Mass arms producement for now. We also have mass fighter production for now. Um, Volkswirtschaft and then military ref reformation. A lot more organization, air attack, armor attack. So we'll see what happens. I don't think we'll be successful in the end, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, we here to have a good time. Sure, why not? Because these guys have an insane amount of resources to pull from and whatnot, so. And if we lose, we're going to use some console commands in the end anyways. Just see what happens. What's your name? Michael. Uh, wartime advancements, a systematic exploitation. Establish RLA, Russian Liberation Army. That would probably be pretty good, actually. Formation 5, Liberation Units. With more to come. What's your name? Yus. Well, that's already gone, so... More divisions would be beneficial. I don't think attacking here would be a smart decision. But we could try. I 
I pushed in a little bit here and there. It's not bad. It just if you can be fast enough to do this and make encirclements, because they do have hundreds, if not thousands, of military men. State media emboldens the war. Operation Hufnung. What else we got here? European pack of steel. Uh, I suffered fewer than 300,000 casualties. Germany's German people stay complete focus der Brand. More speed and more, even more attack. Operation Michael. Does not control Kaliningrad. Does not control Vilnius. Operation Michael, huh? Just in case. More backhand blows. If you go on the offensive here, it's not going to be worth it, so let's hold. I want to use you where I think you'd be mm, used for the most. Can it brought this lava? Capitulate them there. Go there first. Ah, it's only one encirclement, which isn't very much, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, oh, two encirclements, I guess, really. So this losing trains that arm logistic strikes. I mean, the mod's not perfect, don't get me wrong. Uh, but, and there's things that need to be worked on. Especially balancing out Russia in general. It's just too strong. Especially earlier on. And we are almost out of fuel. That is so not good. Oil. We love you, China. We love the Chinese here. Crush resistance. Follow Zarevich. Improve logistics capability. More time advancements. Our allies abroad. Help from the Brown International. Can be completed several times while we are at war. That's interesting. Europa United. Remove unwilling ally. Unleash your fury. That'd be good. Crush the resistance then. Good. But at the Slava Zars. Go. We really do need it. We're doing okay. We just don't have enough divisions. We're definitely pushing through really hard here, though. And we're doing way better than I thought we would. Especially with lack of air superiority. We're still getting hungry. On defense, we're not great, but on attack, we're doing okay. Update camp software. Get this one too. These guys have done actually quite well for themselves. Alright, so what we really need to do here is concentrate our forces. Concentrate them here, and then you'll be able to cut off a giant portion of them. And we're going to do the same here. I want you to focus uh, from here to here. This is where you should really be. We have allies to help hold the line for now. Um, but really focus, 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 focus as much as you can in this area. Losses are what? 38,000 versus not enough. We're losing the territory so that we can come back and strike them harder. Crush resistance and unleash our fury. Because we do need more organization too. 
you're up we are your liberators. When removed. When removed we lose stability. I don't like that. Damage garrisons. Deutschland Black Deutsch. Active your nuclear arsenal. Do also first. I need you to go now. We're about to get cut off, aren't we? Not good. Yeah, honestly, this is this is kind of ridiculous. Uh huh. Go. Where are you guys at? Force attack. Where are you guys at? We must have Vilnius. We've got 36 days left. Good. We must exploit the success. Get more organization. And air attack defense, breakthrough, ground attack factor. That'll be great. And so then what's the next step? They did this to us, we'll do this to you. Good. Did we get encircled here? Well, that's not good. Unleash your fury. Improve logistical capabilities, that'd be good. Fall, Lazarevich, systematic exploitation. And wartime advancements, propagandize or success. I think that's a great thing to do. Alright, so after a little bit of tweaking, because if I did no tweaking, um, we would have completely lost the war. Just going to be honest with you. Completely realistic. We're doing okay. We're in an okay spot. Just see, you know, after uh, after all the crap that we had to deal with, you know, I'm, by, by end game, you, you cannot compete. You just cannot compete. As far as, you know, in this campaign. This specific campaign. Because you just don't have the industrial capabilities to, you know, try to win the war against Russia. Because they have so many airplanes. Um, that being said, you know, if there's no no one has air superiority, uh, then it's much more balanced. Much more balanced, of course, than again it's the AI, but still. I, I keep shifting divisions over and switching them around just to see like where we really need to put them. For example, like most of them are down here in the Balkans, so we can get rid of the Balkans. And then we'll focus back over here, because I'm figuring mo most of our allies for now, at least, are able to hold uh, where we're at. So Oh, this one's no, oh no, that's good. Spain nuclear awesome, that'd be nice. Uh, but yeah, Paul Lazarevich, German logistics tech, cool. But yeah, um, yeah, it's a very interesting run. Uh, uh, hello. Oh, oh, there goes those guys. Goodbye. Just in case. Just in case. But yeah, you know, like I said, this is just a test run. Like I said, if we didn't, if I didn't tweak things uh, to make it so that we can actually win here, we wouldn't. So i hate tweaking things like this but it is what it is and the mod's still getting worked on it so i'm sure it's going to get heavily developed because this has so much promise for being a fantastic mod it's very interesting thank you to everyone who's recommended this and who's, who's watching as well you know i appreciate it especially on my kind of dying channel um because uh, like i said uh, if i get one more strike i'm gone forever basically because mama youtube doesn't like me sometimes i'm a bit too spicy for what i want to put on the channel <sighs> Well, are they forcing the defense? That sounds interesting. I'm surprised we've not lost more units, though. Very surprised. Of course, with all this extra breakthrough that we got, which does help balance things out, military reformation does help out a lot, don't get me wrong. 35% more breakthroughs is insane. Division attack, 10%, 25%. Insane. I'm surprised we've not gotten nuked yet, but whatever. Uh-huh, uh-huh. They can force their defense, we'll force our attack. And our allies aren't doing super well. We've got the Polish state here. Hello. Braun. Unstable government. That's pretty normal. ADS. Well, they're no longer an ADS member. I wouldn't say they're united against fascism either. Unwilling ally, huh? Slovak independent state. Unwilling ally. So basically, looking forward in the future, uh, you really don't want negative inflation, which I wasn't trying to get negative inflation, but uh, I guess inflation at zero. You don't want deflation. Here's Romania. Nice. Thank you, guys. Um, if that's the case, we're really focused on the south here. Let's go through Crimea, maybe. And focus on their oil fields. The goal is the south. They can hold in the north. I'm not concerned too much about the north. The south is where we want it. What do we have here? Lose some more war support and whatnot. Stability. Uh, throw us up here first. And 
to help pay for that at the very least. Work on advancements. Because while I focus on an extremely mechanized army, as the game recommended, uh, it's just not good enough. You just don't have enough divisions. This. Uh, okay, yeah, helps out. That'd be great. Nice procurement. So, hello. You're not great, but we'll find a use for you. up there, take out the south, take out their fuel. Should be nice. Let's cut our what we need in half. I mean it's just division per division, I mean it's quite nice. Baku. They have negative five steel there, huh? This is what you really want to do and circle them. Are you level 5? No. Are you level 5? Yes. Free military factories, huh? Doubt it. 5. five. Help repair what we already have. Bassenheim. Crushing these people here would be great. We're pushing in really hard around here. I mean, the AI does make a lot of divisions. Oh, we're fighting Chinese people here, too. I mean, division for division. Ours are super obviously superior, but it's not good enough, really. Forgot we're doing this too. Uh, cryptology. So that being said, I want you guys here. You're gonna help us restart the war up in the north here. Might be a little cold. It's December. That's all right. Do you guys have no carrier planes? Very nice. Boop, boop. There you go. You got something at least. How many ships do you actually got? I mean, capital ships, destroyers. Some destroyers, frigates, corvettes, subs. No, okay. Well, don't want to send you out there. $40 trillion and deflation. Hmm, let's see it here. Get you guys ready to go. Get a little more organization first because you're not all on the line where you need to be. Astrakhan. Sure, guys. I'm sure we're out of equipment and whatnot. Improved rocket pads. Sure. Hey, happy 2032, everybody. And we should be there by now. There you go. Go ahead. Have fun. Of course, our allies are using a lot of militia and whatnot. Not ideal. It would be quite smart to get to Minsk and go this direction. Good. Europa United. Move unwilling ally. Yeah, that'd be great. Wow, we need a lot of aluminum, don't we? Sure, we'll take some guys. Let's look at that in circumference. Well, 
we'll throw you there. Get some improved, improved engines. More soft attack. Decryption. Fortress Bunster. Yeah, that'd be good. Good. Very nice. Pass by occupied territories. Military development increases, very nice. Automated distribution networks. Circle them. There you go. See, that's what you want to do. Too bad, too bad we can't send a nuke to Moscow because they absolutely deserve it. Allied cities under front of the control. Good, good, good. Secondary targets. All the secondary targets are under control. Primary targets. Leningrad, Moscow. Need to go. Military police is nice. Drop United. Look at that. Establish RLA. Yes, please. Radosphere. Oh, leader has been wounded. Oh, no. Ah, supply problems are all abounding. Kalinin. Supply is pretty bad. But, hey, Leningrad is ours. So, we just need Moscow next. We're pushing in all the way to Central Asia. So. Need a lot of piercing to do this. Back in a very good. You know what? In case this takes too long, we're gonna come here and do this and cut them off the north of this side. Our allies suck. They're just here to help hold the line. Sure. Moscow should be ours. There we go, we got it. Don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. Apologize for this, it's taking a while. It's taking a while. Ooh. That's some sort of music. Oh no, that's the name of Bala Shika, Bala of Kiev. Back to the victory in the Second European War. Oh my god. The Second European War has finally concluded with a complete defeat of the Soviet forces in Europe and the effective collapse of the Soviet state after they have lost the most crucial parts of the country. Even the use of nuclear weapons and total mobilization of every resource for the war could not save them. Now Europe and the European part of Russia are under control of the Pact of Steel. The end. It is blood which moves the wheels of history. War is born. Wow. So basically the fascists in this campaign win in the end. Age is all screwed up. But we become basically Hitler's wet dream. I'm okay with that. The Czechs were annexed. We got all the way back to Kaliningrad. We got Königsberg back. Where is the option to rename Königsberg? Austria is under us. Slovenia is under us. The Czechs, Bohemians. Ukraine is nice and thick. That's the way Ukraine should really look. An ethno-nationalist. Ukrainian ultra-nationalism. Romania is nice and thick, too. Look at who's leading him. Tudor. Nice. Hungarian state. Slovak, of course. The Serbian state exists. Hello. I'm okay with her. Independent state of Croatia. Good. 
Slavonia Dalmatia Divide. European Reliance. Fading Grudges. Albania. Hellenic Republic has done very well. Bulgarian Union. Yeah, this is... this. Oh, Ukraine should really look. This is nice. And then what do we have here? The Baltic Zone of Military Occupation. Hans Otto Bud. Belarusian National Republic. Of course, Finland chose to be ignorant and did nothing. North Military Occupation Zone. Hans Vena Vienemann. Uh, Vienemann. Russian National State. Denis Kaputstin. Stratocratic Neo-Nazism. KGB. Ruble for Führer. Well, welcome to TNO. No. Pact Wardens. Destroyed country, as it should be. People's hate, as it should be. The Caucasus Military Occupation Zone, Marlow. Georgia. Azerbaijan, what is this one? Young Soviet Republic, well, they're not Soviets anymore. Armenia. Azerbaijan, of course. Republic of Kazakhstan, welcome back. Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan. Uh, the Euro Republic, Komi Republics. Leningrad Military. <laughs> wow. Patriotic Union of Russia. A lot of small little states here and whatnot, too. Russian National Union. Provisional Siberian Di Directorate. Uh, Saka. Russian Free Republic. <laughs> Jim Jones. Huh. Republic of Baratia. This is literally just TNO at this point. Um, the Pact of Steel. Looking pretty nice. <gasps> Who is not in the Pact of Steel? Hello? Friendly report. We reached a nip or a go, yo. The disgrace has been rectified. Hatred above all. For decades, we're told to hate our own people. Our existence was a sin in the eyes of the liberal world order. They'd rather displace us, put strangers above their own families. We're taught to be weak, taught to surrender, and what our ancestors fought for, taught to neglect our pride and heritage. And what did that bring us? The hive mind of multipolarity came down and be crashing beyond our borders, violating our cities the same way they did in the past, scarring our loved ones, destroying our monuments, and bringing forth another tumor of shame on our people. Russia won the first war, a scar one cannot get rid of easily. A scar that festers, bringing forth a rage that we're taught to bury for decades. Hatred is a poison, but also opened our eyes. We got rid of them all. The neoliberal sycophants, the strangers, the capitalist cultists, uh, capital cultists, and the weak-willed conservatives, a cleansing of the European soul. We learned to hate again. And we all agreed vengeance is a unifier, a cure for nihilistic pacifism, and the weapon we need to stab at the heart of Russia. With the armies of Europe, ra rabid hatred in our eyes, and total disregard for outdated concepts such as ethics and rules of engagement, we inflicted such a deep spiritual wound in the Russian spirit that they will never dare to crawl back into the light another time. Europe was beautiful, and it will be again. With our homelands under our steel gaze, we've grasped Destiny in our hands will never let go. Ni vida communismus. Thank you for playing the Fire Rises. We hope you had a great experience. See you soon again. This event was written by the lead writer of the Fire Rises, Noble. Thank you all to the developers. If they're watching, thank you very much for uh, you know, making the mod. I you know, appreciate it. This is, this is awesome. This is great. There's so much potential. This is like the next TNO with, with less reading, somewhat. I'm going to read all the events because this is my first campaign in this mod. But uh, yeah, you never know. If Russia went a different route and went like fascist or something like that, uh, the end is near. Uh, I would see, like to see what route we could have taken instead, and make, maybe make us communists instead. Um, but this is actually really cool. I love that there are a lot of different options for us. There's quite a few different nations, nations to play as. You know, America's got, you know, Donald Trump, Joe, Joe Biden, and then the other Patriot Front, APLA, to play as. Russia's got its own unique stuff here. Germany has its own other stuff we can do. This is just Hitler's wet dream. This is actually really cool. Well. We're missing one spot here, but whatever. But that's actually really awesome. I love how it ended up. This is really cool. Anything else? Ah. Outcome of the Russian Liberation Army. Let's see what else we got here. Oh. Guys, I don't think they actually want to admit their own dimension fight to destroy ourselves. Uh, and now this is having an opposite effect and has been great for the Russian propaganda. Well, crap, at least you tried, right? Who's responsible for this? I want names. Well, I mean, the war's over. I guess technically we can rehabilitate the Kaiser. We're done with it now. Um. I guess I didn't do everything, like revive the Falsham Jäger, or tactical domination, or aerial innovations. But uh, yeah, that's going to end it here for us. It's been all fun, very fun, and I'm going to plan on spending a lot of time with this mod to see what else we can do. But if you enjoyed the campaign, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching.
and have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.